What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. Shit. Hey man, say man, we are lit, eh? Lit the team, man. Turn, 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 Cut off all the negative energy people who don't have no use for you for you in your life. Just to have people around you is like having wolves around you. You know what I'm saying? They waiting for the opportunity to pounce. You know what I'm saying? They count on you for everything and they and you don't feed them motherfuckers once they attack you. You know what I'm saying? Always know your worth and continue to press on, gang. We hey, it's a struggle out here, man. Like I said, man, we live in an end times gang, and we, hey, we can't let nobody distract us. We got to stay focused on the grind, gang. I hope y'all enjoy these videos, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. Come to you as a black kid from Israel, like, man, as a Jew, man. Let's get into this bitch, all right? <clears throat> Today, it's my fucking day. Straight here on the side, encryption, man. Hey, man, so Nicki Minaj, you feel me? I, you know, you know, she be having rap beef for, like, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. Popping her shit, you know, they had beef with motherfucking um offset. And I think that's what, what kind of brought the attention of the 12 on Nicki Minaj. Is when Zoo called out offset. And then Zoo got locked up because like he was trying to incite drama. It's like, bruh, how you gonna tell a nigga, hey, come on true. Well man, and come nigga, you be a fool to go out where you at, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then you end up getting locked up. Like, that's insult to injury, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, you got locked up after you call a nigga out and you got locked up like a few minutes later? Like, bruh, you bruh bring unnecessary drama to yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And then you bring an unnecessary drama to Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Like, the 12 probably been watching Nicki Minaj and all her drama. And they see that this nigga, he got all this shit going on with him and his behind the scenes shit. You know, they said, oh, no, nah, we got we to gotta, we gotta pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So, Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying, is going through some drama, man. She know she got recently got arrested and shit. And, you know, um, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, Nicki Minaj is like one of the biggest female rappers in the game. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she overseas doing her shit, man. And some drama came up, man. So, I, hope, I want y'all to enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. So Nicki Minaj got arrested. This van and go to the precinct with them, with no lawyer present. To make a statement. Yeah, I remember with when no um, Big Zoo present. almost got arrested. After the pre-rolls they found from bags that they were not authorized to take, that we did not know what they took and we asked for our bags back and after the security said oh those pre-rolls are his they're telling me I have to go to the police precinct simply because well you know what we'll get into that later huh? Snake, open it Where am I going? For what? For what? Why, why am I going here? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I'm under arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we were bringing to the police station. For, yes. For what? You can go uh, because for you are uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. 
But it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not carrying drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. have to go to the police station. Where, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes away. What's, Hell what's no, the really? address of the police precinct? When you uh, will catch your neck, you have to do it very fast. And we will They've been trying to stop me from coming to every show. They took my uh, bag before I could see You're talking about my show? Yes. Saying what about it? Customs. This is what uh, it looks yeah. like when people pay big money to try to stop trying to tour and film. They'll help to try to get me to my show. Uh, to do it as soon as possible. Uh, but what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I never gave anyone. My, I never. Oh, I'm. Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Okay. Stop for me now. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came here? I always film because they're gonna be uh, pussies and do illegal shit. Danny, have the whole fucking crew around your well, ass. I need a lawyer. Man, but, because 12. I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer. At the office, you can contact the lawyer, but if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? So please step. He will go with you. This is crazy. They was gonna try to store for about four to five hours because it's all about trying to make me late to my show. This is crazy. Second. Tell me again. The police officer told me we have to offload all the luggage. Okay. And to search everything. Okay. The luggage. I'm so sorry to, to say that. But isn't that what you planned on doing from the get-go? Why didn't you guys search it before it went on the plane? Uh, they did a, just a random a quick check, but now they want to open Why? it. Why? First of all, because you filmed him and he was like... Uh, because I filmed him. Yeah, he was like... Uh, he, do he doesn't believe you that you don't have more with you than you said. No, he asked me, do I have any more in those purses? And I said no. And I asked him, where are my bags? They took my bags and put it on the plane before I could know what bags are on the plane. I see. Yeah. So. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, of course. Uh, uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not carrying drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present now. Damn, man, it could be okay. Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. Where, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes. What's, what's the address of the police precinct? When you uh, will catch your next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help with... Well, you, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk... they, they will help to try to get you there. They'll help to try to get me to my yes. show? How? Uh, to do it as soon as possible. Uh, but what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I never You're gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm... Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Okay. Stop for you now. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? You inside. Huh? What you said? Can you please stop filming? Please just step in the car for us. No, I need a lawyer. But I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer? At the office? You can come Where is this guy? Stop filming. Like the fact, nigga. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? He will go with you.
What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nashville, and welcome to Coolin' TV. Man, it seems like somebody up in the higher ups are trying to take down the entire music industry right now. All right, so Nicki Minaj is out there in Amsterdam, and she actually got arrested. She got arrested for having a marijuana pre roll in one of her bags. Now, that's the crazy part because it's Amsterdam, and she got arrested for just having a joint. But this is a thing people forget. You know, a couple years back, the mayor of Amsterdam actually made it illegal for foreigners to have cannabis or to go to cannabis cafes Hell. while they out there in Amsterdam. It's something he don't want any, you know, tourists doing anymore or something like that. But it is banned for people from the U.S. to go to Amsterdam to just smoke weed. You can't do that no more. So this is the reason she got arrested. They didn't give her too much information at all. You could tell Nicki Minaj is pissed off as hell. She's trying I'm to get a lawyer and all that. But honestly, to me, it seemed like somebody out there to get Nicki Minaj. So the guy that's in the red tie, you know, he seem a little suspicious now the guy in the red tie seemed like he got a call from somebody you know in the higher ups and told him hey man i don't care what you got to do get Nicki minaj arrested get her up out of here we just need to take Nicki minaj down all right it seemed like he had a straight up mission and Nicki minaj was pretty on to him about it when she you said start he was winning, trying to man, get me from the get they coming. so they tried to check all of her bags it's not clear on how they found that first joint all right, because it's like, why the hell are you going in my bags in the first place? So it seemed like somebody has some sort of agenda to me is against right? Nicki Minaj, and they just trying to, you know, ruin some shit for her right now. So she is going on tour. She just announced her Pink Friday 2 tour. Bro, she she pissed off right now, all right? And I I'm would be too, too if I was her. Like, I'm one of the biggest superstars in the world, and you coming to me talking about a damn joint a and trying to arrest nigga. me for a joint? Give me my lawyer, dog. So that's what she doing. This story is ongoing, so it's no telling how it's going to unfold. But y'all remember what happened to ASAP Rocky? He went overseas, did some petty, and got arrested. And Donald Trump had to get him out. Hopefully, Nicki Minaj can get a nice lawyer and get up out of this situation over a damn pre-roll, y'all, out there in Amsterdam. All right? That, that's just crazy. All right? So let me know what y'all think about this whole thing. Let me know in the comment box. Bro, this is wild, nigga. They trying to get everybody out the pain in the, in the, in the rap industry. Nicki goes live from her hotel room after her show was postponed due to her arrest. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> they love Nicki Minaj, damn. I can't even hear you. You live here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you too. We gonna we're we're gonna get another date. I love you. So, I love you so freaking much. Oh, let me zoom in on. I don't know if they 
like to see my bed. Yeah, it's a bunch of them on the other side of the, sh on the like over here, and they don't know. And I don't know. I'm gonna have to probably perform something for before I can leave. <laughs> That's why that one ain't motherfucking so um, where is she at? Because they, they jealous. Normally I would have been just being sad. But I, I don't know if I went down where I would be able to, to be, but I, this might be better. I know, if, on the second floor would have been almost perfect, but I don't have a I'm trying to say I'm Britain some shit. You look nice and pretty. Thank you, Fendi. Aw, oh, don't, don't do that. Talking about they about to start singing I See Your True Colors. I'm fucking legs in the way. I want to know where they were going. Where's the party? DJ Booth, where's the party? I love you too. I love you. I really do. And 
then one day I come to their city or country and they're all grown up. And I get to meet their children, their degrees, their... Oh, should I come down? Come down. Oh, that's what they were saying. Oh, child, I don't know. Green talk. Come... You know if I can't go there, they not letting me go. Anytime soon, I would be... That's why she goes to different countries. Hey, she probably get more love in different countries than uh, uh, America. Look like at that. But they do be kind of rough niggas. Damn. Shout out to KBG Go Live. She's not having a very good week if I had to assume. Mostly because she was just searched and arrested in Amsterdam after performing a show last Thursday. And after performing that show, it was time to, you know, get back on the plane. But during that process of getting back on the plane, Nikki found her bags being searched and her hands being put in cuffs. And now the government is formally accusing Nikki of trying to smuggle drugs. What's worse is she live streamed this whole event directly to her her Instagram for everybody to react to in real time. Now, after her show on Thursday, she sent out this tweet that says Gag City Amsterdam was the epitome of greatness. And after her encounter with law enforcement when she was trying to lead the country, I highly doubt she still feels that way. Now, her trouble comes because she had a little bit of weed on her, and the government basically wanted to check her bags to see if she had more on her than she was saying, resulting in this little altercation right here, which I gotta say is both kind of ridiculous and kind of funny on both sides. Nikki side and law enforcement side. Here, let's play a small clip. Why didn't you guys search it before it went on the plane? Uh, they did a, just a random a quick check, but now they want to open Why? it. Why? First of all, because you filmed him and he was like... Because I filmed him. Because he yeah. filmed him? Like, See, that's a goofy uh, shit right there, bro. He doesn't believe it that you don't have more with you than... You now, that part that you just seen is Nicki Minaj having a conversation with the pilot of the private plane that she was flying on. You can see that she's basically asking why her bags are being searched and the pilot's trying to tell her. One of the TSA guys, I don't know if they're called TSA over there in Amsterdam, but one of the border security people got a little upset because she whipped out her phone and was recording them. So he decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and search her bag. I think that's a little bit suspicious. Now, she posted on her Instagram and said they've been trying to stop me from coming to every show. They took my bags before I could even see them, put it on the plane. That's now they're wild. saying they're waiting on customs. This is what it looks like when people are paid big money to try to sabotage a tour after all else failed. Everything they've done is illegal. And I just got a little bit of news for Nicki Minaj. She said they took my bags before I could even see them. That is normally how it works when your stuff is getting seized and searched, bro. They don't have to let you see your bags before they search them but i guess that they had found like some pre-rolls in her purse and they wanted to check and see if she had
had more than what she was saying Damn. she had on her. No, he asked me, do I have any more in those purses? And I said, no. And I asked him, where are my bags? They took my bags and put it on the plane before I could know what bags are on the plane. Yeah. So. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, of course. Now, that was the end of the video with Nicki Minaj talking to the pilot. And after this came a crap ton of tweets that she sent out where she was basically claiming that this whole thing was a sabotage. It was a setup. It was a conspiracy against her. And she sent out tweets like this one. They said, they took my luggage. And when I asked where it was, they said, it's on the plane. It couldn't have been. I just pulled up. I never gave them my bags. They're refusing to let me see my own bags. And you could tell she's mad that they just seized her stuff. You could tell she's used to, you know, having the control. Like I said, I want to see my bag. How come you're not letting me see my <laughs> Go get my bags. And it's like she doesn't fundamentally understand what it means to have something seized and searched. She thinks that she's still in control. But she did continue. She said they're being paid big money to try to sabotage my tour because so many people are mad that it's this successful and they can't eat off me. They got caught stealing money from my travel jets, got fired, got mad, etc. I think that this is a load of crap, bro. Amsterdam ain't out here trying to set up Nicki Minaj. They don't give a damn that she's successful. She came, she did a show. People paid money to get them tickets. They made tax revenue off of that. They earned because she came to their locality and did that show. I highly doubt that the you know government of Amsterdam gives two dams about what Nicki Minaj got going on. You'd be, nah, 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 nah. be surprised. No, 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 no. You'd be surprised, nigga. I just say that's a fact. But then she said this is how they plant things. You'd be surprised, nigga. They do oh, care about what niggas have to say. They, they know that rap got so much influence with them, nigga. Fire management, who I found out for years were adding on 30 to 50k on my jet and pocketing it i fired a tour manager recently who was doing the same thing and he got mad he got the boot their goal is to make me late and a pocket 40k and i just don't see how that is even remotely close to being the reality of this situation like i don't think that the pilot she's currently working with and that border security want to make her late for her next show so they can make some extra money it just sounds a little bit ridiculous she goes on to say this is Amsterdam, by the way, where weed is legal. And to that point, I want to go ahead and, you know, get this clear for you guys. Weed is not legal in Amsterdam. It is decriminalized and there is a difference. Decriminalized just means that they're not going to arrest anybody who has less than a certain amount in Amsterdam. It's five grams. So if you have less than five grams, you're not going to go to jail or get in trouble for it. But if you have more than that, it 100% well, I just is had still illegal if you're from to a different country, you do that. She goes on to say they're trying to keep me from Manchester, which is where her next show was at. She was leaving Amsterdam, going to Manchester to do another show. Show. So she said they're trying to keep her from Manchester. Then she says, I'm still in my car. They took my luggage without consent, lied, and said it was on the jet. And again, this they took my luggage without consent thing is blowing my mind because she keeps hitting on this point. But, bro, no government anywhere in the world needs your consent that to search right. your stuff, bro. It's just not how it works. Then she said, now they said they found weed and that another group of people have to come here away the pre-rolls. Keep in mind that they took my bags without consent. She's killing me with that. My security has already advised them those pre-rolls belong to him. Oh, yeah. And the pilot wants me to take my IG post now. That was the pilot in the gray suit smiling from ear to ear. Now ask yourself, why would that be his role and why the plane was nowhere to be found when I arrived? And I think that the pilot was probably smiling ear to ear because of the, you know, sense of entitlement that Nicki Minaj is obviously projecting here. He's doing her a favor, trying to be friendly and say, look, this is what's happening. He's trying to explain to her what's happening. And he probably finds it funny that as an American, she feels entitled to her American privileges over there. Like she's trying to control the situation, even though she clearly can't. And she keeps asking him the same questions over and over it's not really his role as she said to do this i got a feeling he was doing this to try to just be a little bit helpful to her in explaining the situation she then said and the people who weigh it ain't here told you it's to try to make me late so that they can write negative stories jealousy is a disease you know the rest they didn't know i was planning for them just like they were planning for me me filming every single thing made them really mad my plan was scheduled to leave two hours hours ago so now she's 
she's mad that, you know, she's running a little bit behind. But that happens when you try to, you know, leave one country with drugs and go to another. You tend to, you know, end up late. Then she says, ask yourself what takes two hours if they've searched everything already. It's a 45 minute to an hour flight. So they're probably trying to stall for about four hours. And then after she sent out this tirade of tweets, went on this rant about how they were trying to set her up. She decided she was going to go live. And at this point, she had been moved out of the vehicle. She was outside of her car and things had escalated just a bit. Where am I going? For what? For what? Why, why am I going here? Hello. Yeah. Your Honor, arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we were bringing to the police station. What? Yes. Damn. You can go because you are uh, carrying. They're so cocky though. The I'm white not people. carrying drugs. The police is. But it's not a question. About the black person cocky. I'm not talking. carrying drugs. Sorry. Number one, when I came here. Yeah. My, the, okay, that, you can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present Did now. You got rights, nigga. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. You have to go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes away. What's, yes. what's the address of the police precinct? Like, how do I don't know the address of their own police we'll station. You. Next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help with... You're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk. They said they will help to try to get you there. They'll help to try to get me to my yes. show? How? Uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I never You're gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm... Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Okay. Stop for him now. I'm under arrest for what? Do you know what happened when I came here? Huh? What you say? Can you please stop filming? Just step in the car first. No, I need a lawyer. They're like twin brothers, dude. You will get a lawyer. It's in the office. You can contact the lawyer. But if you just step in the car, then we will go as fast as possible. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? So please step. You will go with. They're like, don't stop filming. Now, in that video, you Damn. can hear her asking, saying that she needs an attorney and asking for an attorney to be present. And I think Nicki Minaj just fails to understand that you're an American, and in America, you have the right to an attorney. But you ain't in America. One thing you can't take with you to another country when you leave America is your American rights. You have to abide by the laws of wherever it is you're going. So she isn't really necessarily entitled to have an attorney present at the arrest. Now, is she entitled to an attorney during a court proceeding and during all of that? Yeah, probably. But she's not a citizen up there. They don't care about her American rights and her trying to exert them isn't going to change anything. If you ask me, these guys were trying to be as polite as possible. Keep in mind, they found five pre-rolls, which remember in Amsterdam, you're allowed to have up to five grams. They found pre-rolls in her purse. They said, we need to get somebody here to weigh these because you're trying to leave the country with them. Then while they were waiting on the people to come weigh the pre-rolls, they said, you know what? We're going to search your luggage too. Make sure you don't have anything else in there. Now her security guard doubled back. He said, those are my pre-rolls. So he tried to take the charge, probably in an attempt to get Nikki free so she could leave and go do her next show, which was in Manchester. But they weren't going to let her leave because it's like, okay, those are his. But now we're searching your luggage to make sure you don't got anything else. Because while you're allowed to have five grams in Amsterdam, you're not allowed to then take those five grams and travel internationally with them. That's still smuggling. In Manchester, weed is illegal. If they allow her to leave with it, they're allowing her to smuggle. So they weren't so about the to legal leave. Legal legal. 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 They say illegal and it's not legal. What? Well, come on, bro. Give a statement about what we just found, and then you can be on your way. But she's butting her head. She's trying to exert her American rights on them, and uh, it just isn't working. So then she sent out this tweet right here. She said, now they said I have to go five minutes away to make a statement about my security to the police precinct. And this was really like the last tweet in her tirade. From here, she started trending on Twitter. The hashtag free Nikki started trending on Twitter. And that was happening as her fans were gathering in Manchester in anticipation for her show that she was supposed to be I doing. I got nothing happened, though.
would end up not making it to that show probably because she was giving everybody a headache she wasn't released until about 9 p.m that night in amsterdam her show was set to begin at 8 p.m in manchester so she ended up not making it to that show resulting in this unfortunate announcement to the crowd Mr. Cole Blythe, on Saturday 25th may has been postponed damn That's crazy. Damn, that's wild. All the motherfuckers keep out that bitch. A grown ass man wearing furry, a furry hat is insane. Pink now, furry hat is insane. Arrested but, hey. and her show being canceled she was eventually released and she sent out this tweet saying thank you to everyone who prayed for me today may god cover you and all that is connected to you may you be blessed beyond your imagination barbs which is what she calls her fan base the barbies i'm at the stock exchange hotel in manchester i arrived a little over an hour ago so she got there around midnight and then she said after sitting in a jail cell for five to six hours my plane still didn't take off for another 20 minutes once i boarded the flight was 50 minutes that's why they had to do the big song Damn. because they knew i'd still find a way to perform even if it came down to my last 90 minutes in the building which would have been until 11 30 p.m the building was willing to go past 11 i'm so grateful to them for that then she said so they succeeded at their plan to not let me go on that stage tonight i succeeded at getting to the root of it all by recording them and posting everything in real time i have so much video evidence you wouldn't believe it if i told you i'll have the lawyers and god take it from here though please please Please, please accept my deepest and most sincere apologies. They sure did know exactly how to hurt me today, but this too shall pass. They've been doing this over and over and over and mm -hmm. over again, and I've tried so hard not to discuss it because you guys deserve to just get the good stuff. I hate involving you in anything that isn't for entertainment purposes only. We will have another date for tonight's show shortly, and I'll probably be able to share it tomorrow when July option and when June option is currently being discussed. I'll find a way to not only make up that date, with the performance but i'm going to create an added bonus for everyone that had a ticket for this show i promise i'll still be performing at the second manchester show on the 30th five days from now i'll still be performing in birmingham tomorrow okay bars love you now she was eventually released obviously she made it to manchester and all of that she seems to have plans in motion to make everything right but overall it was a pretty weird situation you know i clown on nikki because she was showing a little bit of entitlement in there but the whole situation but because you can't nigga don't want to get locked up in no fucking said, goofy ass fucking pre-roll nigga i'll be mad three nigga i'll talk my pop my shit three nigga what are you talking about i think what's going down like um, come on I, man you know, really think she just got caught with some pre-roll i get what you like you trying to say though but damn nigga they ain't trying to get locked up in no fucking pre-roll who knows maybe there is some kind of conspiracy on behalf of the amsterdam government to sabotage yes his career who knows? Of course. But that is basically where the story is at Shout right now. Shout out to now, all the people on the content, channel. Sure Shout out to like KB Go Live. And you can get notified every time I upload a video. All right, back. See, I see people that shit and shit. Yes, nigga. When you got a voice and you can control 
millions upon millions of people to do whatever you want. They come out and just say what's up to you. And, and yes, they get mad because it's like they do the same thing. Nobody listening to these motherfuckers. The governors, the motherfucking senators, and they fucking states and shit. Nobody listens to what the fuck they got to say. You come over to this bitch and everybody ain't mama pulling up. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to see what's up with you. They listen to your, your beck and word. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they're going to get mad and jealous that you succeed and, and you win and you got more you got more uh, control over the people than they do. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't, at the end of the day, man, they want control over everything. You know what I'm saying? They want, they want to control these people, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you got a little bit more control than, what, than anything, yeah. Because they like, Nicki Minaj, she like, they like, damn, she got control. She feeling like she the boss. She can do whatever the fuck she want. Let's try to get her, let's, we gonna try to lock her ass up and show her that, hey, you can't come over to this bitch and just do whatever, but that's not gonna work forever, you know what I'm saying? They, they try to, they try to lock us up, mute our voices, try to delay the, the, the process and the opportunities. You not knowing, you just making it, you just, you just gonna make it worse for yourselves, you know what I'm saying? When you have the good intentions and pure heart to do what you do, and these motherfuckers have evil intentions, man, they just make it worse on themselves, man. Because like, you know, evil never gonna try good. Good gonna always win, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you okay, you might try to fuck us over, but no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Yeah, the weapon gonna might hit, but it's not gonna prosper. You know, we're gonna still be able to keep on going. And, and then they do like we were like, well, all, uh, you know, we're gonna try to help you throughout this bitch and we're gonna take you, we're gonna get you to the bitch so you can have to your meat. Like, what the fuck? So you just trying to lock me up, check my shit up. And, and get some money on me, and, and, and then try to release me to the to, to the thing. Like that's stupid. You know more about me than I know about you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put out some some heat. That's what Nick and I was basically trying to put out some heat. And you you twelve fucking with niggas, trying to lock niggas up, and trying to stop the process. You know what I'm saying? That's just hating at his at his finest. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like. It's like and you can't beat them, join them. You get what I'm saying? That's what they, basically what they doing. It's like, well, we know we can't beat her. We can try to lock her up. At the end of the day, we have to join her. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like they, like they, like they, yes, they do got evil attentions on, um, on rappers, man. Cause you, you, you control a lot of, of the, um, of the community, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why they want rappers to be rappers and have control over like a lot of social media because they know like if a nigga really like on some real shit, like, oh hell no, nah, we ain't going for none of that what y'all got what y'all got going. They know they ain't gonna be able to control it. And the people gonna listen to a lot of the words they say, you know what I'm saying? And it's like the government, they know that nobody gonna listen to these niggas. You know what I'm saying? They, they only got control over the people like the random people who just, that they can kind of control. But like over the masses, they ain't got that type of control. Cause a lot of people don't even like the government. A lot of people don't like the 12, you know what I'm saying? They don't like the We got a lot of people who like rappers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, rappers be getting killed, but it's like over stupid little petty shit sometimes. They be like, for people like, it don't be like everybody. It be like certain people. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, these motherfuckers, they know that nobody fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? 12, they don't know nobody fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? The government, they don't know nobody fuck with them. Nobody even finna take shit sweet with the government in 12. You know what I'm saying? At all these type of um, riots they be having over here in the overseas countries and shit, like France and all that shit, they not, they not, they know that they nobody fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? All that black on black, no, not black on black. When they, when they, when they, when they pop be trying, when they white pop be trying to kill the black people, and they be having these whole riots out here. They know that they don't fuck with twelve. You know what I'm saying? So they like, damn, she come over to this bitch and everybody love her. You know what I'm saying? But they hate us, but they, they love this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Love everything about her. She can say anything. She could take a shit on the ground. They love that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know. That's the thing about that situation, man. We can't put ourselves in that type of, you know, situation like this. She was saying it was the, the bodyguard of somebody who had that shit. Man, I don't know why, why, I don't, but it's like in certain parts of that place, they can smoke. You know what I'm saying? In some, in, in some parts, they can't. They said that, that if you come overseas, you can't bring shit. But they, but you from over at that spot, you can smoke in that bitch. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? You can't pick and choose. Like, can we come from a different country? We can't smoke. Like, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? That's why we gotta always fight for our rights, man. Like, she getting her lawyers and recording. Yes, always record, nigga, because they gonna, they looking to try to set us up and frame us to say, oh yeah, he look, he attacked us. Oh look, they oh they might try to kill you and be like, see, she trying to fight back. We had to do what we had to do. You know what I'm saying? Like on some um, you know what I'm saying with um. 
fuck. I said, oh, that's sad. I forgot her name. When she when she had died, and they killed her, and they they're trying to say that she killed, she hung herself. That shit wild, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, we put us, you know, we get caught in these situations, man. But yeah, man, you know, sometimes you get put in that situation, man, where, you know, they try to frame you and say that you did something, man. You know, all the people, all the people who passed away from police brutality, man, you know, we don't want to forget them, but there's so many people that, that done died, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we don't want Nicki Minaj to be another person on the hit list from the popos to try to take out or kill, man, especially in a different country. They don't give a fuck about us like they give a fuck about us. They don't really don't give a fuck about us in America. Let's be honest, man, but... You know, especially overseas, you don't want to get caught up in overseas, man, because, like, you ain't got the same legal system like you have in a, in America. You know, at least you can have your lawyers on on demand, right, sure. Overseas, it's going to take a minute. It might take a while. It took her five hours, six hours just to get out of the pokey. You know what I'm saying? And she missed the whole concert. All the people who came up to that bitch, probably over 100000 And they niggas got to go, go back to the crib now. They waste all their goddamn money. They got to come back the next day. That's wild, you know what I'm saying? But it's like... That's what they want to do, man. They want they want to stop, try to stop us and what we got going, man. We ain't going for that shit. That's why we speak out on the issues, man. And we ain't finna let that shit happen, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. We out this bitch hood. No side. Cool. Hey, Dad. You know that when we link up, though, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Kodak everywhere.